If you're active on social media, you'll read about all the gurus who have all the answers to squeeze every drop of every minute out of your day with journals and methods and exercises and more. Some of them are useful, a lot of them are crap. And if you look at yourself in the mirror and be honest, and you know what you're capable of doing, you can spend 10, 20, $30,000 at a conference with the greats like Tony Robbins, for example. But when you get home, you have to do the work. And that has been something that I've been worried about or always thought about for people like you and me, even when I was a kid. When you go to church or you hear a fantastic speech and you wanna break down the doors because you're so motivated, but then by Wednesday, nothing has changed. When I don't wanna get up in the morning to go swimming or spend time in prayer because the sheets are so crispy and warm, I say to myself, I am the sum of my choices. It gets me out of bed. It's a great way to remind myself nobody is coming to save me and that I'm responsible for my life. You also know that life is constantly changing. Somebody gets sick and you have to take them to the doctor or go pick up medicine. Phone call can eat up your morning. An existing client calls with three new deals and if you don't have the systems in place to control those time sucks, you can lose your balance really fast. And next thing you know, it's September and nothing has changed in your life, nor have you met the goals or promises you said to your spouse about travel or time together, weight loss, all the typical things that people think about, especially at the beginning of a new year. And retired US Navy SEAL David Goggins and entrepreneur Jesse Itzler popularized the Navy SEAL's 40% rule in the book, Living with a SEAL. And the rule is pretty simple. When your mind tells you that you're exhausted and tapped out, you're probably only 40% done and you still have 60% left in your tank. And that's a helpful way to change your mindset. But as entrepreneurs and spouses, having those systems in place to juggle the demands of our businesses and the needs of our personal lives is key so you don't get to that 40% too fast. So how do you do that? It's not time management. This is truly about having systems in place and knowing how to delegate. It's about quality, not quantity. And you allocate specific times for work and you stick to them. And that's probably the hardest part that any entrepreneur has. Then when it's time to switch off from work and truly be present with your partner. This means putting away the phone, closing the laptop and focusing on the moment. In my own journey, I've learned the importance of scheduling regular us time with my spouse. Whether it's a weekly date night or a simple coffee break together, these moments are invaluable. They're the building blocks of a strong, resilient relationship. We're the goofy couple holding hands and giggling in the Costco aisles because that's the time we get to spend because of our businesses and our kids' schedule. Open communication is the bedrock of any strong marriage, especially when one or both partners are entrepreneurs. Share your successes, your challenges, and even your mundane daily experiences. This transparency creates a shared journey not parallel one. So challenge yourselves to grow together. Set mutual targets, both for your business and your personal life. Perhaps it's a vacation, a new venture, or simply improving your home. Shared goals foster teamwork in a sense of shared accomplishment. Balancing business and marriage doesn't mean dividing your attention 50-50. It's about giving 100% to both in their own time. And by putting systems in place, prioritizing relationship building, and maintaining open communication, you can ensure that your business and your marriage not only survive, but thrive. Thanks for watching. If you missed our first episode of Friday Formula Marriage Edition, click here now and you can watch it.